Fox is my newest best friend. Oh, Monica's always my newest best friend. But here we have Jack with us this morning, and we've been having a good dog. First time we've had a barker in a while. He was yeah. kind of ready to play as I got him a little riled up. I'm guilty of that. This is Jack, and we don't, we're not quite sure about the breed. Kind of a chihuahua mix of some sort, right? Right. He kind of has the markings and, and the looks of a chihuahua, but he's definitely much larger. So he's mixed with something that is going to be more medium size. He's and about four months old, so I'd say he still has a little bit of growing time. Um, his paws aren't lab size, but they are they are decent size. And about so, so how old do you think? You said four months. Four months. So still some growing room. Active, energetic, super friendly and affectionate. So I think he would be fantastic with a family, maybe with kids. <laughs> Great dog to grow up with. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, very nice. Well, you just relax a little bit. We have some business to take care of. Monica, let's talk about, we, I, was, uh, I saw a story that we had about mm -hmm. uh, virus that dogs have flu. Right. And it's very, very difficult and dangerous for. That's right. It's very contagious. And most dogs have no immunity built up because it is a new strain. Um, but there is finally a vaccine for it. So this strain came out um, almost a year ago. We saw a huge outbreak in Chicago. We saw a case in Baytown that really scared a lot of dog owners because at the time there was no vaccination. That vaccine is relatively new. We're stocking it at Houston Humane Society. Um, it is the influenza A virus, but it's H3N2. And the great news is it's not contagious to humans. Okay. So you don't have to worry about you. You don't have to worry about your kids, but you do have to worry about your dogs. Very contagious among dogs? Very contagious because they have no immunity built up. Um, and a dog can shed the virus for up to about 24 days. So even if they're not showing a lot of signs, they can spread it very quickly, mm -hmm. especially an active dog that's maybe going to the dog park a couple sure, of times sure. a week, doggy daycare. They're interacting with a lot of dogs. Um, so really, it's imperative that you vaccinate your pet. And if you see some symptoms in your dog, get them to your veterinarian, start getting them some treatment, and keep them away from other dogs so that you're not spreading the illness. Well, Jack was taking a little nap while we were talking. <laughs> You notice he went sound yes, asleep with all, both of our rubbing. <laughs> Very expensive, this virus, uh, the, the vaccine? No, it's just $18 at our low-cost clinic at Houston Humane Society. We're open seven days a week. You can also talk to your own veterinarian for more information. HoustonHumane.org, we've put up a blog post that has all of the information about the original strain of dog flu, H3N8, as well as this new virus, H3N2, to try to help educate dog owners, hopefully keep our pets as safe as possible. Right, and we want to let people know where you can get Jack today, Houston Humane Society is open from 11 to 5.30, 14700 Alameda Road in southwest Houston. You can go there. By the way, you can see thousands of animals in need from dozens of Houston area shelters. Check out our Adopt-A-Pet section on click2houston.com. Jack will get a new home today.